Now, a trio of senior Credit Suisse bankers have left the firm. It's the latest in a string of exits following the lenders' recent debacles with Archegos and Greensill. Andrew Conway, Charles Hadid and Marco Staccioli are moving on to Bank of America, Morgan Stanley and Jefferies, respectively. Bloomberg has also learned that Credit Suisse is set to offer retention bonuses to top bankers to stem the flow of senior departures. Well, joining us now for more on this is one of the reporters to break that story, our finance reporter in Zurich. He's Patrick Winters. Patrick, great to have you on Great Scoop. What is the potential size and scale of these retention bonuses? Hi there. So um, it's a difficult one to work out. And you know, while we've had some indications, it's, it's not something which we're ready to, uh, to publish yet. But, you know, you can definitely think about these guys. These are the top, top revenue generators, um, you know, within the investment bank we're leaving. Um, and what Credit Suisse is doing is trying to protect its revenue base. These are um, senior guys in the U.S. Uh, these are guys with responsibility to, for uh, transactions. So you can imagine these are people who are earning uh, $500,000 a year minimum, um, you know, many of them more than, more than $1 million. Um, and they can take their business elsewhere. So Credit Suisse is eager to give uh, these guys some assurances um, you know, that they will be taken care of. Um, but what Credit Suisse is doing is also about reputation, because at the moment they're a bit like the kid at school who's being who's being picked on, um, you know, with the American banks picking away their their most senior people. So they have to to show uh, that Credit Suisse is a place, um, you know, where where people should be proud to work and where they also get get paid competitively.